Lucy and JP. How's it going, guys? Haven't been voted off yet. <laughs> it's great. We're in week two. We're still here. Feeling good about this. No one was blindsided. That was great. Um, before I go on, though, if you like what we're doing, subscribe, share the video, uh, tell a friend if you have friends, and then uh, also give us a thumbs up. We appreciate it. And uh, at the end of the, it's towards the end of the podcast, we're going to give our MVP of that of tonight's or last night's show. Who the MVP was? We'll all give our individual. And it could be the same. We don't know, but. That's what we're going to do. That's the plan. So anyway, what did you guys think of last night's episode? Go ahead, Chris. You were texting me. I thought it was really good. In fact, I had to I had to message JP to tell him, like, ooh, it's pretty good this week. Um, <laughs> yeah, I liked it. I liked it. Yeah, me too. I thought it was um, it was very, very good. I liked um, – I liked I, – I'm always a big fan of when you have a very close challenge – especially when, you know, production gives you that edit where it looks like first it's going to be a blowout and then they catch up and it was great. Yeah. Well, those always seem like it, it always seems like it ends close anyway, no matter how far someone's ahead and someone's behind. I still don't know why uh, Chelsea threw the ball. I said this, I mean, we're way ahead of where we should be, but I don't know why she threw the, I, why did she throw the balls in the water? The bag. I, 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 the bag, I, the bag of ball, but I, why not just drop it straight down to where they're standing? She like flung it like she thought she was throwing it up on the beach, but well, why not just hold on to it? it you could oh. have got back down the ladder with the, but I don't know. I just I, I said that at the time. I'm watching it by myself. I go, no one to talk to, but I said, and then they couldn't find the the bag of balls. I'm like going, rookie mistake. Well, I think, and I think next week from the previews that I saw, uh, Rob and Sandra are going to talk about holding on to your balls. <laughs> Well, at least I'm sure Rob will, right? <laughs> I went to some Hobbit potties, you know. So I, yeah, you did. I didn't go to Hobbit, but I went to some potties. Anyway, we, we start off. We 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 start, well, let's go for the back to the beginning. You have Aaron. They come back, and Aaron's upset that he wasn't included in the the vote. What did you guys think of his reaction of how he, you know? Well, I think once again, Elaine kind of laid it right out there for him right away and said we tried to talk to you about Ronnie. You didn't want to hear it. And right. hopefully that sits with him. He thinks about it, but uh, she kind of just, she gave it right to him straight. He's a straight shooter. I like her. Yeah. I like her a lot too. And, you know, whoever is on the outs, it always seems like they try to downplay it, but then by the end of the episode, like suddenly somebody else is just the big target anyway. Yeah. But what I, I didn't, I, yeah. especially in the beginning, you can't make, you can't make – you shouldn't put a target on your back. All we had to come back and say is, hey, guys, next time just include me in it. I'm, I'm, I'm a team player. I'll go with the team. But he kept going on and on and on. I can't trust you people. Just, I go, what are you doing? Shut up. Well, He took it too personal. Well, this was uh, night five or night three. And so you think, like, you're, you're upset because someone has, like, thwarted your plans, what you've been working for. But it's day three. It's not, like, right. 15 days down the drain. It's three. Right. You need to scramble. You have time to scramble. Don't freak out. Um, but yeah, he was he was a little he was a little upset. It's it's like a, to me it's almost it's too early to be that far on the outs. It's you know they should still as a tribe they should still be going through kind of like that that bonding phase where everybody's still chummy chummy. But yeah, we got to get rid of somebody. But for him to just on day three just take it so personal and so dramatic, I mean it's you know it's. It's checkers, not chess. Right. <laughs> right, 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 right. Wrong show, but that's okay. <laughs> um, yeah. Go ahead. But I was going to say that. And then he starts having being dramatic. Yeah. And I, it like somehow it funneled toward Vince and Vince got all saucy. And I don't understand yeah. where that came from. It was like, it's not a competition. Just, just zip it. Vince uh, is like, who voted for me? Probably Ronnie Vince. Yeah, right. <laughs> and he went home, relax. Don't worry about it. But he was all, mm, he started getting, you know, saucy with him. Like he wanted to have some drama. And I don't know. Just lay low. You survived. Get over it. Just keep going. Yeah, you could be mad. You can be, oh, they ruined my game. I, but you have to, you have to go. You didn't. <laughs> yeah, you have to act. It's, it, this is, it's, it, you have to do a lot of acting and, you know, you have to do a lot of lying mm -hmm. and you have to do a lot, a lot of list, just sit back and listening. Like we learned later on. 
but you you have you can't get like we're saying you can't get all emotional and tell people I can't trust you because I'm going to tell you right now if 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 they would have lost he probably would have gone home. Yeah. Oh sure. Like very likely because it would have been easy. He's already right. told people he's not trusting him. We already voted out his friend. He'd be an easy person to take out. I we think. we, lo- we lost the challenge anyway. We don't need him, so yeah. he goes home. All because he couldn't control his emotions. But anyway, I, I just I just was like, oh my god. Then we go to the other camp, and Nora's yelling at people for not getting up at six of the mo- five, whatever it was, in the, to help her with the fire. I'm like going, what is going on with her? Oh my gosh. And even they said something about, oh, she was upset that we weren't we were we were being lazy at five in the morning, you know. Yeah. <laughs> what doing? There's no alarm clock, you know. It's like being on the island with my mother. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, but she was like, getting free electricity. So she, yeah. Yeah, she won't hear this. She does not even know how to use the internet. So and Merry Christmas. Um, <laughs> but I, I thought, well, maybe she's just having a bad morning. Maybe she's, just, but I guess that's her personality. Oh my gosh. Yeah, she's a she's a lot. And that's, you know, all these people have to watch Survivor previously. You know, why do something that just draws attention to yourself like that? I don't think they have any self-awareness. Just get up, do whatever it is you have to do, but don't, you know, don't do something that stands. I remember the, um, oh, I'm trying to think of who it was, but the one season where she was like arguing about them not hanging their clothes. Oh. I was, it was Reem last year, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Right away, you're like, what are you freaking out? So what? They're not your clothes. What do you care? Yeah, I think, yeah, I, I think that's why some of these people get But Nora's picked. another one of those. She's a complainer. Well, I think that's why they get picked, because I think they know that they can't control themselves. Did we lose Christy again? Okay, she's there. There she is. Are you there? I okay. thought for sure my internet hasn't done anything for a whole week, and of course tonight it's doing it again. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 okay. It happens. But, it's but, a catastrophe. Cox is <laughs> no bueno. I'm just saying. <laughs> anyway, I just I just was it just I you know, I tried to get on Survivor five or six times. Maybe I should have had that attitude. Yeah, I'm a loose cannon. I'm a jerk. I am, but I but I I can control it. Maybe I can say I can't control it. I just say whatever I want to say, and I don't. Maybe that's to get on the show, but I, 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 just, I don't. I like JP said. I don't get these people. Yeah, I mean, to, if I were on the show, I would just try to blend as much as possible and just take out my frustration on that piece of paper on the uh, parchment at the end of every episode. Right. You know, just I, I don't think as you know, if you're voting with everybody, you're obviously not going to stand out. And then just worry about it when you get down to those final few people. I mean, I just can't. Oh, I it frustrates me. Just like when we were watching Big Brother, it frustrates me when you do something that just makes you stand out from the crowd. No, I agree. But I also think it's the same thing as Big Brother in that they have nothing else to distract them. Right. right. All they do is think. And the more you think about it the more you get yourself freaked out and then you think more and you get freaked out. And you th- Do you know what I mean? I think it's yeah. like, they just, well, I, I like, I, I think one of you said 15 days down the road, I get it because mm-hmm. you're tired, you're hungry, you're not sleeping right. It's hard to control your, you know, we've all had, you know, if we're not sleeping right, we, you know, we've had bad days where we just kind of lose it on people, but I don't think day three, you should be in that situation or day four, wow. or whatever it was. I don't, I just, Unless it's just that hard to get your bearings because it's such a dramatic shift from real life that they're just, it's like a, there's like a shock factor maybe there. Right. Um, but some adapt a lot better than others. That's for sure. And also if you, when you behave in that manner, you know that at least in that edit of the episode, it's going to be a little bit about you too. There's your TV time. your two minutes of yeah. fame. <laughs> I'd rather I'd rather have the million dollars. <laughs> yeah, some people just want to be internet famous, you know. So maybe yeah, I, get, I wonder I, what that's like. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I again I'm there. I would be there to win it, not to. Uh, I mean, it's maybe some people have the Philip Shepard approach. I, I go. I'm I'm back. I'm batting that's crazy, and and I'm gonna be taken as a goat. Oh, I hope you know? he's back next season. Yeah, I mean, maybe that's maybe that's what her approach was, and maybe thinking, okay. I'm going to be so bad that people are going to know they can't beat me, but it's so early in the game. 
like we were talking last week with Ronnie already trying to get figure out his final three and our final yeah. two, whatever it is he was trying to do. It's it's too early in the game. You like you said, you have to you you don't necessarily have to fly under the radar, but you don't put a target on your back. And like I said, she was just I mean, luckily she had Jason who was off looking for an idol. They're on the same tribe. And if I had to hear her say one more time, Revenge of the Nerds and the Nerds right. go back to school. You know, like I, I said last yesterday on the uh, Jane, Jack, and Colleen podcast. Yeah, I had a crappy time in in, in high school, but I've kind of let it go. I, I've kind of let I've kind of let it go. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think she lets go of much, though. No, I don't think so. But I, anyway, I have to question also when was the last time she watched Revenge of the Nerds because there was a lot more going on in that movie. Yeah, <laughs> and it's yeah. very uncomfortable to watch in today's. Oh yeah, it yes. doesn't hold up. Yeah. It doesn't hold up at all. It's one of those '80s movies that probably, you know, it would be made today. That's super what cringy. Think. Just watch, just watched uh, Word Science with my son the other night, and I was like, "This is kind of cringy too." Because some of them aren't so so aren't so uh, aren't so friendly anymore. But <laughs> <laughs> it was the '80s. What did we know? Right, did we know? Learn. Yeah, <laughs> we turned out okay. Yeah. Huh. And then but we had we had something happen next that, that bothered me. Chelsea's walking and finding firewood and she finds an idol. Oh, see, I thought you were gonna say something else. Well, we can go back, whatever that but I said because I think I said last week, I hope that since they have Island of the Idols, that they have to earn the idols, that they're just not laying on the ground or they just happen to find I hate this is the part about Survivor I hate the most. I hate the finding of I hate just walking around. Oh, I found an idol. Well, I, she I can't was stand it. She was channeling Nora. She was out looking. I mean, even though a different tribe, she was like getting the signal, look for firewood, look for firewood. And she was out there doing it. And she got rewarded. If only she could tell those guys, see, Nora was right. Go yeah. firewood all the time. Uh, but yeah, it was kind of like how it was just right there in that little part. And um, that's overused. Yeah, they've, they've just gotten lazy at hiding them too. It's just like they just throw it where it lands. It just, I. It, it it bothers me. I'm not. I don't stop watching the show because of it, but it, I think it's gotten ridiculous with the idols. I think they should have to earn it. Well, you know, if they're putting it out there, yes, the earning that would be inter that would be very interesting. But if they're looking for them and it is completely by chance, let's just see whoever comes out here and does this will have a good chance of finding it. And the one just happens to go that. Now, if it's one person always goes in this one area and they're putting it in that area. Then yeah. the person knows who they're trying to leave it for. Well, so, that's now, what we don't. That's what we don't know. Right, right. They and being on the island, they all have like a designated area that they use for the bathroom. That's where you want to hide the idol. <laughs> <laughs> I just crapped all over an idol, but I got it. It's mine. <laughs> yeah, Jeff, is this a real idol? I <laughs> could you could you go back though and watch? Let's say next season, you know, forego that it's season 40, but let's say they just make it old school survivor, reward, immunity, vote, no curveballs. Could you watch that? Um, yeah, I think so. I probably could. Because they've gone so far this way, might be like a hard reset, might be interesting again. Okay. I think. I mean, I, I like the idol. I like having the idols. I mm -hmm. like having... But I, there's, I, they've just gotten. There's too many of them, and to me, you always get to that point. Well, are the producers trying to control the game? Are they? I, I want it to be the players. Like I said, at one point, I've, I've said a thousand. At some point, the, the idol should be taken out of the game. They should just, you should have it. Should be you should have to play them sooner, and they're just taken out. Let the players make the decisions. Don't have the swaps, tribe swaps. Let the players make the decisions. Even at when some point down to like two and the other one has 10, <laughs> like no drive slots, forget it. Well, that's Even happened. Two that's, two that's, two, let's do this. Well, no, I, I don't mind. I, I guess I don't mind the truck that we did have that one year where it was at uh, Stephanie Definitely. was the only one left yeah. <laughs> in her tribe. I mean, that, that got ridiculous. I, I get why they do it, Funny. but sometimes you think they go, I mean, after three days, after three weeks, they switch them and you're like going, come on. It just, yeah. but it doesn't, it does make you have to, play a smarter game because you can't just put all your eggs in one basket. But mm -hmm. I don't, the, the idol thing, I, like I said, I was hoping this year it would be different. This season be different, but you know, Chelsea walked, Hey, I found an idol. So you see, you said that I think she kind of earned it though, because you said that was what made you mad. What made me mad was the scene right before that. So they're all sitting there trying to make fire. Tom can't make fire. Aaron can't make fire. Here comes Chelsea. She makes fire. Right. Who the heck was Elizabeth? 
Elizabeth has the skill. She hasn't told them that she can do fire. What's I forgot? All, I forgot all about that. Yeah, yeah. Really? They're all still like they're still struggling. She has this thing now. She has the flint from tribal. It's the next day. She still hasn't gone like, hey guys, I got this thing that I know how to do. Might be helpful. Well, she, she, she didn't tell him that, did she? She just said she hit the urn, right? Well, yeah, but you could. She could still say, oh hey, now that we have the flint, I do know how to make fire with flint. Let me show you. I practiced before I came out here. I mean, yeah. I just didn't tell you because we didn't have Flint. So I wouldn't have been able to do it anyway. I mean, it, well, was, can, it, it goes back to where, why didn't you just tell the truth in the first place? Yeah. But what was she, she was just going to let them struggle and figure it out. And I forgot, I forgot all about that. I completely forgot that she, so what was the point of her learning? I don't know. I thought it was a super missed opportunity for her. To maybe be. she, maybe she's in the, uh, the final three, four people and she has to, she wins the fire making challenge to get her into the final three. Oh, maybe. maybe. I don't know. Maybe. I'm just throwing it out there. <laughs> if there's also if there's a position where they are going to go to fire against her, you don't want her, you don't want the tribe to think that she has that edge. Do you think she's thinking like that though? You got to get there yeah. for that. <laughs> that if she is thinking that far ahead, kudos to her. But I mean, what are the odds that that's going to happen? Right. I don't think it's happening, but I, I mean. Just, it's better for her to to make fire now and show them kind of how Janet did for the other tribe. Right. And kind of have that moment to go, I did, I provided for the tribe or I, I helped out. Um, but you hurt Tom's feelings. I know Tom said he was, he was ruined, ruined yeah. forever. Ruined his manhood forever because his ego is bruised. I go, what do you care? You got fire. I don't care. Yeah. That was, that was a good comment. I, yeah. Well, Tom's sick. Tom's sixty. He probably likes the eighty movie still, so it's okay. <laughs> I, was, I was waiting for him to pull some of those enforcer moves that he learned on the Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Know. Again, I didn't even like, good call on the Elizabeth. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Then we have then we have Kelly goes to it, she, it's her turn to go to Idols uh, Island of the Idols. Oh, but before that, they're doing that that dang beach yoga. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Nora that. had him out like a freaking boot camp doing yo. Jack liked it, but yeah, 50 times. You're not even eating. How are you doing 50 times? You're going to use all your energy in the morning on the beach when you got, you. come on. Well, was, later on, they couldn't hold a ladder. Right. So <laughs> they were Nora holding. wore them out. I agree. I, I, it, I, it was it was smart on Nora's part to try and get the group, hey, look, I can contribute to the group. But you, even then you can see that she's not, why would you get beginners doing 50 of this? I I don't know. Can we just, how about just do some like meditation, not energy, just just calming everyone, especially her. Let's get calm, you know? Um, <laughs> nope. Let's just sit around. And talk. So weird. Let's sit around and talk. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> well, I get you want to do things. And like I said, I'm not into yoga, but if I was there, I would do it just because you're nothing sitting around 24 do. hours a day doing nothing. I mean, Sleeping, not putting, helping with the fire. So I get you want to do things, but because you can only talk to people so long, right? Right. Or it just gets to a point where like I can't talk to you anymore. I I, I need to get up. But you can't say that. Nora would, but you can't <laughs> you can't say that. But no, Nora would be like, "Why aren't you talking to me? You're rejecting me just like everybody else. Why are you walking away?" Oh, because you were you were at the cool kids table in high school. I wasn't I'm cool enough to talk to you. Man. No one liked me. <laughs> uh, so now Kelly goes to the the Island of the Idols and she meets Robin and, and she was excited. Mm -hmm. She was excited and she's and did anyone did you guys catch on? I, I figured out what the test was going to be mm -hmm. right away because they were yeah. too talkative. Right, it was so unusual the way she they, they were just on her. Yeah, and what about you know? Blah, 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 blah. But I, I like I, I like the fact that they were right. You have to you know you have to listen to people. You have to it helps you later on. That's how Sandra. That's why how Sandra has won. Mm -hmm. because she's built relationships with people she likes, people she doesn't like. She just tells them off. But... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, what did you think of the of the uh, the challenge where she I, – I, again, I thought she had nothing to lose because she's on the tribe with Nora and Jason. There was probably no way she was going to go home. Probably not. And she held out, so he sweetened the pot, and that was awesome. So we kind of saw his back pocket there a little bit. That was awesome. Yeah. Wow. So – so I, you, I was going to say, yeah, to see that what the see how simple the pot sweetening was. Mm -hmm. I'm going to guess probably last week, had she held out, 
you know, he would have given her some sort of advantage, maybe a little bit of heart. Head start or something like that. But right, yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah, but that I mean that's I like where they're going with this now. I'm not I'm really not that turned off by this little twist in the game at this point. Um I still love the giant heads though. I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at Rob's from the from the side view from the profile, looks like Jim from the office. I go, oh, it looks like Jim from the office. <laughs> Sandra looks like Sandra, like spot on. But I mean, straight on, it looks like Rob. But I go, that kind of looks like uh, John Krasinski. But wow. that could be just me. I maybe yeah. I was looking for something. I don't know. Maybe it's one of his stares he does at the camera or something. Like that. <laughs> but but she she wins. She gets the idol, and she comes back, and she does what Elizabeth does. She lies. Yeah, she lies, and she uses almost the same lie too. Yeah. Yes, breaking like that's weird. Yeah, I, I mean, I get, I give her kudos for hiding the idol in her hair. It's not something I could do. Yes, I was th blown away. Seriously, that's, I said because I when, when she was pouring, I go, "What does she do?" I go, "Where's it at?" Then she said it was in her hair. I go, "Beautiful." I mean, I, you think Dan would have saw it because he hugged her in her and gave her a kiss on top of her head, but he didn't. He didn't mm -hmm. find it. But again, why? I, I, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe maybe we're just wrong about this. But why? It, it, it's going to come out that they're that Sandra and Boston and Rob are on Island of the Idols. Why are she, they lying? She told them there were two giant heads over there, but she didn't say what they were of, right? Right. So, I, don't I mean, know. Can, can they just say, oh, they weren't there when I got there? Are you going to, if you're playing, again, if, if it comes out, I, my, I'm going to think right away, why was she lying? She must have got an idol. Um, I, I just think it puts a, I, I see no harm, especially when she had the idol hidden mm -hmm. and she showed everyone she didn't have the, you know, well, she didn't show it, but I mean, she didn't show she, what she showed she, that she didn't have it. But why, I don't get why you lie. I think lie, you want to lie and survivor. You have to lie to survive. But this is a, this is a lie that's going to come back to bite you. I just. It's going to bite somebody because if yeah. you're lying about it, somebody's going to get caught. Well, and we're going to see next week, obviously, now, now that we have two people from the same tribe going. Right. Oh yeah. That's yeah. This next one, it'll be someone from from uh, Lara again, right? So Elizabeth's tribe. So they might right. come back and be like, Elizabeth, I need to talk to you. We'll, we'll see. We'll see who she picks. Yeah. I, I hope it's not. I hope it's not Aaron. Well, regardless, <laughs> regardless of who she picked, that person could also come back and now tell the truth, and then put some, you know, cast a shadow on Elizabeth to make our spotlight onto Elizabeth. To make them think, hey, she might have a, 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 a idol. An idol. Yeah. It totally depends on that person's relationship with Elizabeth already, right? Yeah. Right. If but even then, it's it's like okay, if I'm Sam in your alliance, and I've I've always said if you have a if you have an idol, don't tell anybody. I, I don't think there's any advantage of telling anyone you have an idol. But this, I think it's just going to come back to it's going to bite it. Like we said, it's going to bite someone in the butt. Because you, you can't lie like that. The only thing she might be able to say if it comes out, let's say it's one of the other girls in the girl alliance, okay? And they talk about it. And she says, Elizabeth, you know, you said this, da, 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 why did you lie? Um, she could just say it was only day three. I, I really didn't know what was going on, but we, uh, we've we had a tribal now. And now I know where the alliances are now. I know, you know, maybe she could do that because it was so early. And I didn't know what to do. I freaked out. But. That could work. But again, if I'm playing the game, when, when you catch people in lies, that sets up, I mean, again, we know that 99% of the people are lying, mm -hmm. right? We, we know that that's part of the game, but to me, that's a big lie. Yeah. That's just, that's something you can't, like we said, like JP said, we're going to, someone's going to come back from the other tribe knowing that Elizabeth lied. Well, unless next week they mix it up a bit and it's not an immunity, immunity idol as the prize. I mean, I can't see why they would do that, but, you know, maybe I don't know what they're going to, you know, I, the one thing about this though that might bother me a little bit is if every week somebody just goes to the island and gets a chance to win an immunity idol, maybe next week is an advantage in whatever game they're playing or something like that. Mm -hmm. now, do, you, do you think that people should only be allowed to go there once? Oh, I guess we don't know. Are they putting throwing their name back in? I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess no. I'm gonna guess once they've gone, they're out. I think maybe pre-merge. 
Yeah. And then, if you make it to the merge, that's when any everybody and everyone who's left goes back in the bag again, maybe. Yeah, that's what I think is happening. Because since we're not seeing who their the names are being drawn, they could be. It gives that perception again. Oh, the producers they want this person to get an idol. They, I mean, it just to me, you just get to that, that that. You just don't. You, I don't. I just don't want the game to be. I want to be as as transparent as possible. Right. Yeah. I mean, I get that they don't want the player that's going back to know who who it is from the other per side that they picked. Right. They don't want them to know ahead of time. But maybe it would be nice if they pull it, they give it to them, they walk away back to the boat, and Sandra and and Rob open it up and read it. Right. Show us right there. So right. Would, uh, that would be more transparent. It would look yeah. more on the up and up then, but. But again, if, if they're not going to, if, if it's, because I don't want to see, what if the, you know, what if Elizabeth goes back, you know, three times, then you're going to start thinking, okay, what's the odds of that happening? The producers are doing something. Ronnie to me, it, it ruins odds. the game. Pardon me? Ronnie would know the odds, but. <laughs> the player will know the odds. Yes. <laughs> All in. Oh, well. <laughs> anyway, she lied and that's what it is. Uh, then we had the challenge. Anything else going up to that? No. Did you like her crying? I mean, when she came back, she had the tears. Oh my God. It was. I kind of did actually. I kind of did. Cause I think it led, lent some. Yeah, I, I did. I think it let, it made her seem more believable that she was really stressed out. Like she knew she, people know when they go over there, there's when people don't see what you're doing, it's a target on you. Right. So her being nervous and being like, you guys check my, I think that was super smart of her. I think yeah, everything, everything was smart except the lie. Yeah. I, I think she deserves the Emmy. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe, she'll, maybe she'll get one. Uh, the, we had the challenge, and uh, what did you guys think of the challenge overall? It was a different one, right? We haven't yeah. seen that one before. I, never, seen that before. Uh -uh. Um, I thought it was I thought it was good. Um, I thought that uh, was it uh Laro, I'm trying to learn the tribe's names. Lair uh Laro, what did they win? Who won? Yeah, so Vokai, when they were holding their ladder and it kept tipping, yeah. I thought, well, you guys are idiots. Turn it perpendicular so when the wave comes in, it's not pushing your people back and forth. That's why right. it was falling. If you turned it that other way, then they're on either side. But also who was at the top of the I forget who was at the top of the ladder and when she fell the second time, she could have got hurt. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and even, she, even she threw the bag, but she didn't throw it as far. Yeah, uh -uh. No. Yeah, that was really interesting. Really and I thought Jamal did a great job of trying to catch up on the ball thing. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. That's, I really thought with the uh, way the edit was going, I thought that was going to just be a giant um, you know, come come victory. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, they didn't, have, they didn't have victory music. I didn't recognize the victory because usually it has an uh, it had like the slow down with the uh, 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 uh. yeah, because it, it, I think the music always kind of dictate. If, if you listen to the music, sometimes you go, "All right, they're gonna win." Well, also, if you just if you just pause it, you can see how close they are to the commercial. <laughs> Cheater. <Wow. laughs> no, I thought it was a good challenge. I liked it. I like it was like skee ball, and I like skee ball. So, so this was a new challenge. We hadn't seen the ladder thing. I, that can get someone hurt. I don't know how I feel about that ladder thing, but, but the ski ball part or that the puzzle, the ball thing, I really like that. Cause it kind of seemed like ski ball. You know what I mean? And yeah. it just takes some, got to calm down, just focus on what you're doing. So one, one of the girls got up there and she just flung it and it went way up and no amateur, yeah. amateur rookie move, you know? Well, uh, she was trying to get to the, the far, the far side. So I, right. I think she was, but I throwing it into the sand was probably a mistake. <laughs> I'm gonna guess it didn't go where she wanted it to go. <laughs> Wrong far side. Was there? I didn't notice. Was there in the top corner of where they were launching the ball? Was there like a tilted bank where if they, like kind of like a pinball, if they hit it off of that? Yeah, I, I don't think so. From there, uh -uh. they were like strategic away from the edges and then spread oh, the yeah. board, but nothing on the edge to help with that. You're right. Oh wow! I think the key was to go down the middle and hit the one because they had that one thing in the middle bumper yeah. to hit the, to hit it, to go down to that side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You I mean, it, it could, it could have been slanted up top, but I, I didn't see it. No, got to get a good spin on it. No, I like yeah, it. I didn't pay attention. So, sorry, JP. 
I the challenges are never really my favorite part of the show, so I just only have uh, Lara wins the challenge. That's all I wrote down. That's it. Really, they're not your favorite part. They're no, they're not. I like them. They're they're they're, 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 they're enjoyable. Uh, Bun Patty Bun would be upset with me for saying that, but um, they're <laughs> they're enjoyable. Uh, they have some energy, but I find the the uh, str the strategy and the social part way more interesting. Well, that's I agree with. You. That's what makes the show great. Is what I do. I love this because you get some seasons where nobody's doing any strategy, and you're like going boring. It, it, it's so because some people I I know some people like the drama, like a Brandon Hance. Some people to me Brandon Hance. I I don't need a guy like Brandon Hance there because it, to to me he he ruins the game because he's just he's a powder keg. Right. Uh, but, working how people's safety with somebody like him, you know? Yeah, exactly. I would sleep with one eye open. I mean, right. I'd be, I'd, I'd be up with Nora building the, keeping the fire. <laughs> <making sure. laughs> yeah. But uh, no, I, I like, I love the strategy part. I, I, yeah, that's it, the best part of the game. And then speaking of strategy, we go and, and so Jason and, and, uh, and Nora think they're on the bottom. They, they, they they're they not with they're the, cool the kid. At that point, yeah. They, they, you know. And so they're making a case, and I guess Nora goes, "Look, I'll I'll vote Jason out. I don't care. I'm loyal, but I'll vote Jason out." But then she said she wasn't going to campaign. Jamal goes, "Well, what are you going to?" And yeah. she didn't campaign. Yeah, he was like, he was really wanting to get some her to like turn on. He wanted to get the entertainment value. I think of them turning on. Right. Her. Yeah, she wasn't going to. She wasn't going to do that. Now, what, what did you think? You have you have Jamal, Jack, and Molly, a powerhouse of three. Right. And I'm like going, you only have three people in your solid alliance. That's in this point of the game, the start of the game, that's not a lot. Because he even said, I think uh, uh, Jamal said, let's go take a nap. Let's go take it. And he, they show him snoring. I'm like going, you only have three people. Well, what they said was at one point, one of them said that they considered themselves to be an unlikely alliance. So they, yeah. they, they considered themselves to be three completely not same, same, just like really different. So maybe they think that their power is in those three different personalities then being able to go out and then get one person each. Then you have six and you can do that. And Tommy and Jack are pretty tight. So it seemed like maybe that maybe that's what they're doing. I don't know. It just To me, it just seems it's so early in the game to be thinking you have... I, I did. I didn't. Under, I didn't get that because they, they just seemed like, oh, we got this. It's because they kept saying it's an easy vote, easy vote. It's an easy vote. It's either Jason or Nora. Jason or Nora. It's it's an easy vote. Did we lose Christy? No, she's there. You're here. Someday. But I I just anytime you start, you know, when they put that in the editing, you start going, okay, there's gonna be there's gonna be a twist mm -hmm. because it, it it's never that easy. And I think it was uh, Lauren that said, "Hey, why don't we vote Molly out? She's poverty 2.0." <laughs> uh, yeah, she was super quick to get on that, and Janet kind of backed her up and was like, "Yeah." And Kelly looked a little nervous. She looked like, uh, "I don't know if I want to do this." And right. I don't know if it's her because she doesn't like conflict or doesn't like to go after people or whatever. But the other two were ready to do it. So good for Lauren. Yeah, I thought it was a good move. Um, she doesn't want to be herded. She doesn't want to be a sheep. Yeah. Well, you know, I get that. And that's another problem. You have people, there's a, there's a, you can be the, the people in charge, but you can't tell people you have to kind of, you have to make, make them believe it's their choice. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, I know it's hard, but you say, well, you know, this is where I think we should go. What do you think? Well, if, but, you, if you were on one of these tribes this early in the game, if you were playing, would you, I mean, I always feel the strategy that works is to have to try to form that bigger alliance, but also have kind of like that secondary back right. alliance. You know, your 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 grateful alliance, and then your your six shooters or your four shooters or whatever. Right. Yeah, I like to liken it to Bill and uh, Will, Doctor Bill and Boogie, that they each, they had their showman's that they were their own core, but they each brought one person in. Right. Right, right. Most people think you're with them, but you're really together. You can't. Yeah, that's how you get your some power. I think. I mean, I. I what always bothers me though is kind of like when what they were doing, where you're, you're almost like the entire tribe is an alliance, and we're just going to pick on one or two people at the bottom. I just don't don't think that works because eventually you'll get rid of those two people. Now right. you're scurrying. Yeah. And if you want to have power later, you need the ones that are on the bottom because they're the ones that are going to work with you. Right. Right. Willing to kind of go with whatever you want. And that's where you get your real power. 
But um, I don't know. This was. Um, I thought the tribal was pretty interesting too because yeah. you had Jason. I thought was making some good points. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think Sandra, Sandra and uh, and uh, Rob thought he was playing t- going too hard. I thought, but I go. I thought he was making good points. He went to Jamal. You didn't even bring your bag. Yeah. And I thought that was. I oh. thought that was. I thought that was good. I thought it was a good call out. Yeah, because what he said was, uh, Jamal said he was just playing in first gear. This is just the beginning yeah. of the game. We're just playing first gear. And and Jason was like, uh, you know, he, I'm playing. I, you know, they were, and then everyone else, and Molly even said, we're in fourth gear. So I don't know why Jamal is really feeling so comfortable. Well, he, that's why I go back to where he said, ah, oh, we got this. It's easy vote. I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> He's lucky it wasn't him. Oh, sure. Absolutely. That went home. Yes. I, and I, you know what? I almost thought by the edit that that's what was going on because I thought, oh, they're really setting him up for the fall, you know? Well, they show him snoring and the, you know, the whole thing, and he doesn't bring his bag and he's just so confident. And I'm like, and I like Jamal. I think he's, a, I, I, I like his, you know, he's a right. good character, but, but he's I was like, the wrong way with that attitude, though. Yeah. I he was, he, I thought he was terrible. I think yeah. either they get voted out, they get their stuff back anyway. So, sure. <laughs> <laughs> again, I, I, I don't care about my stuff. I want the million dollars. <laughs> that, that's just, that's just me. I can replace it. If I get the million dollars, I can replace that stuff. Yeah, it's probably worth about thirty bucks. I would always be the person that would be like looking to see who was super comfortable because I know I wouldn't be comfortable there. even if I even if you could put on the act that you were feeling confident or you were feeling okay, not freaking out on the inside, you'd totally be freaking out, right? Right. So for me, I would wouldn't want anyone in the game that looked like they were so super confident because I would be like, what are they so confident about? You know, it's or almost just- when we get to those challenges with some people sit out. Mm-hmm. And yeah. said, I've, I've always said I would never do that. I would yeah. never do that. I, well, why would I have this thing where screw it? I got this in the bag. I can't get voted out. Unless you were injured. Unless yeah, you- and, and, that's different. Unless you said, okay, I can't win this my back or my yeah, knee. I need, or- I need to rest for the next challenge. I yeah. But other than that, there's no reason to sit out. But I it just I would always bring my bag. What if they let you sit out and offered you Mentos? Well, that's different. That's different. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sure they clean the island of all of that. They probably find all of that. Yeah. Well, I didn't find an idol, but I found a thing of Mentos. So, yeah. <laughs> who wants to be? Who wants to be in my alliance? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, and, and for people playing at home that have, don't know what this is, Mentos has a different name. Just think about it for a second. Just think about it for a second. It's legal in some states. Um, <laughs> but I, I thought, and then we had Nora. She's giving her speech and it's like, oh my God, she just, you know, I, well, you know, I've always been on the outs, but I'm successful. I'm this, I'm that. I'm like going, Nora, you're not going home tonight. Stop talking. She was like, I'm not married. I don't have any kids. I'm single. And everyone, they showed everyone and nobody looks surprised. Like what? You're not married. Wow. It isn't so sister. What are you talking about? (laughs) No, nobody was saying that. And then you had Jason who's like this. What sweat, sweat's running down his face? He's emptying out his bag. I don't have the idle. <laughs> Even when he went to put for the votes, he's like, I thought he was gonna have a panic attack. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, he. I get it because you don't. I, I wouldn't want to be voted out that. Or I, if I went, at least I'd want to make. I'd want to win, but I'd I'd want to make it at least to the jury. Oh yeah. Anything else? Anything else other than that? It's. I would think it would be I, for me. It'd be failing, but. I thought it was interesting tribal, you know, the, the different questions going on. But um, Jeff always seems to answer. He says he doesn't know what's going on, but he seems to know what's going on. I, I'm thinking he might have an in with the producers and know kind of a little bit or have some sort of note, something, some inkling. Now, those tribals last about an hour, right? Sometimes. Long, I mean, they, they go on longer than what we see. So they just edit. They just give the parts that are interesting, I guess. But yeah. Uh, I always forget that, but yeah, you're right. It could it could be as short as, or it should it could be super long. I think there's ones that have been hours long, right? Right. In the rain, they're waiting for the rain to stop so they can film, probably. Yeah. I was going to say he has to know what's going on, also, because at the end of Tribal, he kind of asked Kelly to summarize what what happened, and that was like the last question was to go to Kelly and ask her to to just kind of sum it up. Yeah, that's true. I was just thinking. Well, that's everything that you learned at um, at Island of Island Island of Idols. I was going to say Island of Adventure, but uh, 
<laughs> adventures. Yeah, there's two head, two idol heads, but I don't know who they are. And you know, there were a couple people there. They were talking to me, but I don't know what they were talking about. I didn't recognize them. Maybe that's what she can say. <laughs> yeah, Sandra and Rob did not have as many comments from their little spy shack. Right. No, no, no. I want more comments. I really do. And I did, I did read a kind of a, it's, I, I didn't uh, talk about it on the podcast. They said I shouldn't talk about it, but there is something going on on the internet I saw, but I don't know if it's fact. So I don't know if I should bring it up. Maybe I'll bring it up at the end after, towards the end. If people want to listen to it, they can. If you guys don't want to listen to it, you can leave and I'll, I'll, I, I'll just say it by myself. <laughs> but there's yeah. something I heard about something and I, I got to get it off my chest because it does kind of make sense or doesn't make sense. But anyway, okay. so we get the vote and Molly gets blindsided. Yeah. And she did not expect it. Oh no. That was a true blindside. And they got everybody except those three in on it. They yeah. really go Lauren. Maybe she's yeah. a force, you know, that we didn't see that she was really going to have some power there. And then you have uh, um, Jamal's thinking, I better get this up to fourth gear. I'm now I'm now on the bottom. Of, I'm I'm on, I'm on the bottom. I would hope I would hope he starts to scramble a little bit and go. Oh wait a minute, maybe I should be playing. Well, it's it's too early to to give up. I mean, it's just, you know, you, like we talked about Aaron. Okay, yeah, you weren't involved in the vote, but that happens a lot. You know, things change. You could win a couple of challenges, and you don't go to tribal for you know a week or so. Things change. You know, the group. You know, or you get a tribe swap. So he's not out of it, but you can't go into this. He can't go into this square, you know, okay, I'm cool. It's an easy vote. It's never an easy vote. Never an easy vote. Mm -hmm. Well, except if Sandra's voting, because she'll vote you out. Yeah, exactly. That's true. <laughs> she'll vote you out. That's it. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I Jack and Jamal both seem pretty low key and kind of relaxed. So I don't expect them to have the Aaron reaction when they get back to camp. No. So, We'll see. Well, I, I don't think they can because it was it, it was a landslide. For, whereas Aaron was, was – him and Ronnie were the only two that voted the other way, right? It, so, yeah, and Molly. So, yeah, obviously. No, I'm, talk, I'm talking about last week with uh, Ronnie oh, and Aaron. Oh, right, right, yeah. But, yeah, Molly, you had Molly, Jack, and, and they split the vote, right? They split it because they were worried that Jason had an Isla from that hour or whatever that he ran out there and right. looked around. At least he knows he made a mistake now. Mm -hmm. So if he ever returns to the show, don't go looking for an idol when the other group's building a shelter. And, that, and that's what people seem to complain about. That Not that he went to look for an idol, but they were building a shelter and he wasn't helping. Oh, yeah. You know what? I didn't even take that into consideration, but that's an excellent point. Just, just yeah. play along with everybody else. You know, there, there will be a time where you'll go to collect wood or go right. for, for something. Right. And will tell you. Even if you do the buddy system and you find an idol with somebody, great. Now you've got two people that can let this work to their advantage. Mm -hmm. Right. The only problem with that is the other one person always the one that doesn't have it always gives it away. Right? They always say, eventually they go, Yeah, Joe has an idol. Because they get nervous that the other person's gonna screw them about by holding the idol and not sharing. Yeah. I, this is our idol. It's never, it's never our idol because I'm not giving it to you, <laughs> unless I have. And the only reason I give it to you, if I knew I, you were going to get voted out, you were in my alliance. I need to keep the numbers. That's the only time you ever see it happen. But most of the time, we're sharing this idol. No, we're not. Here, you no, I'll put the amulet. You take the string. Deal. Yep. There you go. <laughs> does it work without the string? I would think so. Do, 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 do you need the string? I don't know. Anyway. So let's get to anything else you guys want to talk about this episode. Um, Any more thoughts? No, I think I'm good. The previews, but I don't know if we're ready for that. Are we going to do MVP previews? What do we want to do yet? Uh, let's do. Uh, well, you want to do the previews? Well, yeah. Well, we should save the previews for the because some people don't like them. Oh, okay, that's fine. So let, let's do the let's do our MVP. Christy, go with your MVP. Okay, so last week I was feeling a little uneasy about my pick and thinking that, oh, I might have chose poorly. But then this week she turned it on, and I am so excited that I picked Kelly. I'm staying with Kelly. I'm going all in. I'm staying. I think she. I think she's absolutely smart. I. I, I really like her. I really like even her. The, even with the lie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. She's not going to be the only one to lie. Because okay. even though we see it on the outside saying it's dumb, I think that's what every single person is going to do. 
I don't think he wants to come back and be be truthful. And so then, how can anyone hold that against him? You know what I mean? No. Well, I, if yeah, if, if they're all if they're all lying, I guess that you can't. She lied first. <laughs> I think she, I think she's smart. I think she I think she held like when those women when when uh, Janet and Lauren were talking about let's about getting Molly out, she was listening. She was involved in the group. Like she was part of that conversation, but she wasn't like being super outspoken. So she wasn't running it. So she's not sticking her neck out. Um, right. I like her. That was that was that was, I, I gotta back you up. I I agree on that point. JP, it's interesting. Is is Christy and I do the uh, Survivor Fantasy League, and I just realized who prior to week one I picked as my MVP, and I I had picked Dean, not knowing obviously I was going to pick the creepiest person on the island. You mean Dan? No, Dean's okay. Dean's not creepy. Dan's creepy. Oh, Dan. Dan's oh, creepy. Dan's okay. Dan. We haven't seen him yet. Yeah, and no, Dan was so not. excited about the spices. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have food, but we got spices! Yay! But uh, no, it's fun. Kind of like it too, you know. Just <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't get the he didn't get the spices. <laughs> Sorry, Dan. Or Dan. No, as far as what I've seen so far, I'm actually I did pick Kelly. Also, I think I like the way she handled, even though she lied. I like the way she handled it. Um, and I. I Want to give her, as I said before, I think she deserves the Emmy Award for her performance. Oh, is that? I don't know. No idea. Like Your someone... Android is showing. Sorry. Anyway, that's kind of scary. <laughs> so you both have uh, Kelly as your MVP. And one more thing about Kelly. She did cry, but she did it on the Island of the Idols. So if you're going to let your emotions out and have to have a breakdown, dude, have it over there where no one can see you except those guys. And, the, and Sandra's rubbing her back and, you know, so I liked that too. Like, so she got a little release, so hopefully. Usually Sandra's got a knife in her hand and just stabbing you in the back, so. We kiss each other, was, hey. that was nice. That was nice she was rubbing her back. Uh, I'm gonna go a different direction, I'm going Lauren. Because okay. I, th I yeah. thought Lauren changed the whole game. Because it looked like it looked like it was gonna be a clean sweep for either Nora or, or, uh, or, uh, uh, Jason, and yeah. she, and she took a chance because usually when you see something, because I was like, oh no, no, no don't, because I like her. I, I I think I have her as uh, I think I have her winning the game, but I was like going, oh, oh. but then she she was able to do it in a way that didn't put a target on her back, and she completely blindsided it completely blindsided Molly, yeah, which which broke up those three people. I mean, it was just I I thought that was a great move. I mean, I see your you guys made a good points with uh, Kelly. And it's hard for me to argue, but I'm gonna go with Lauren just because she she changed the game. Do you think though, with her taking the reins of the Molly thing, that people will remember that in a couple, you know, tribals if they have to go back? And now she looks like a threat to them because look at how she did to control of us that first it, that tribal. She, I do see I do see that, but if she if she can play, come back and go and pull the reins back and say, okay, I'm not gonna stick my neck out there anymore. Right, right. No, she I, she would definitely be my vote for num for for number two if I if I hadn't picked Kelly. Yeah, no, she did great. She I surprised think, me. Yeah, I think you could you can come up and make a move like that, but then you got to kind of you know duck back down and let let everything around you just happen. You know, almost plus she, plus she wasn't really telling people that's how she'd vote. She just said, "Look, she can ch she's charming everybody. She's charm. We should need, we need to get rid of her." Right, but the way that she was able to convince people that Molly was charming everyone was by her herself charming them. Don't you think? True. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's true. She had to have her own charisma in order to sell that to him, and she sold it pretty good. So, and you know, you know what you're saying is the way Kelly was just listening. That could come back to get Lauren later on because Kelly was listening, and Kelly Kelly can come back and say, "Look, Lauren yeah. led the Lauren led the charge to get rid of Molly. She was she's playing nowhere. this game." No talking about Molly, and then all of a sudden Lauren said it. Now we're all flipping to more or to Molly. Yeah. Yeah. So like you like you said, Christy, she she might have put a target on her back th that she's really playing this game. Yeah. Like it, well, like we've said in the beginning, it's, it's sometimes easier to just go. Okay, this is the easy vote. Let's go with the easy vote. It's mm -hmm. so early in the game. Do we need to make this this dramatic move? But they made it, and and we'll see what happens. But anyway, did Christy okay. freeze now? Oh, she's still there. You're still there. I, still there. Figured out. <laughs> I, was, I was looking at the other tribe now, and I'm wondering, 
now once somebody comes back from Island of Idols, who's going to panic on that tribe? And I'm wondering, I'm just, I'm with, with, with that team, I'm just trying to figure out, you know, is this, is this going to be an opportunity to pull Aaron back into the game? Well, I mean, we can talk about that with the previews because they did kind of show us some little snippet. I am right, if, if you if you don't like previews or the spoiler that it's not really a spoiler because it's not it's not fact. But if you don't want to hear anything else, thanks for watching. Subscribe, tell a friend, and thank and we'll be back next week. Thanks everybody. All right, previews. Previews. Well, first the first preview I think that they had was was uh, I know Island of the Idols, and they you didn't see who was there. All he said was you had to wait till nighttime and then sneak over to the other. Teams camp. Right. Camp. That's going to be hard. <laughs> so are they going to steal? Are they going to take stuff? I don't know. Maybe there's something hidden over there for them. Maybe I'm they put out the fire. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, Elizabeth should be able to build it again. But yeah. Well, I guess no. No, was, no yeah. I guess it's the other tribe. So I guess. Uh, um, I don't think. My guess is that whoever's this is going to be too hard. There's too many people over there. I mean, it'd be different if there's like only four or five people you have to duck, but you still have to duck nine people. Right. Like all the people. Anyone could be awake. And it's not like you're sleeping soundly out there on bamboo. That's going to hurt. Plus, if you get caught stealing something, if, say it is you have to take something or you, you, you're, to get the idol or something like that. If you get caught, that's going to put a target on your back. Oh, definitely. Right? Definitely. Well, it depends. Would your your own tribe know that you got caught doing something? Maybe not. If oh, but, when you merge or when you if you flip if you when they uh, right when they merge or when they do that, yeah, swap tribe, yeah. Your name is Mud now. You're that person. Why were you doing that? And how right. do you explain it? Well, they're gonna do. It's gotta be some whatever the challenge is. The the Island of Idol challenge. It's gonna be something that relates to something that we've seen done on Survivor in the past. It's supposed to teach them a lesson, right? A lesson, something that's that's helped other players. So, what would be what would be the stealing their shoes? Uh, <laughs> too too rubbish. <laughs> because any, anything you do is say you get caught, and you say, "Oh, I was I've been sent over here for twenty four hours to observe you guys." Even that puts a target on your back. Yeah. So there's <laughs> not. I it almost be yeah, like, I'm yeah, gonna I'm not going to I'm not going to do it. Or yeah. Just, to go over there and just spy on them for a certain amount of time and try not to get caught. But what is the, what is the, what is the life lesson in survivor? I don't, I, I don't know. I was trying, that's what I was trying to think. Like, what could they be trying to teach them? Don't play like a Rosenberg. I don't know. Be stealthy, but I, that's only I can come up with, but I don't know. I don't know. Do they still, they still have their like, their tribe banners or something. It's like, like, uh, is it a game of like capture the flag? You got to go over there and get their flag, be stealthy, not not get caught. I don't, I don't know. It's really weird. I don't uh, unless unless going over there, you, you say you steal their flag. Oh, you, there's no challenge. You win. And your team you're wins immunity. Me. You know, I wonder if it's. I wonder if it's actually you're going over to the other team's tribe because there is a oh. hidden immunity idol there. Killing me, Smalls. <laughs> <sighs> But you're going over there to take the idol. Maybe there's, yeah, I was going to say, is maybe there's, it's one of those scenarios where the hidden immunity idol is someplace over by the other tribe and they have to go there. Oh, uh, you know yeah. what? I bet that's probably what it is. What are they doing? You're there. We, we see you. We see you. We saw you. We, we, we see yeah. you. We're almost, we're almost done. Um, but you know what? I bet you're right, JP. I bet you there's an idol over there. But if that was the case, isn't production now like putting a big chance out there that somebody there would find it before someone could sneak over there, though? I don't know. The, the way they hide them, I don't think so. Yeah, it's like when they hide them. <laughs> I would be the most paranoid searching everywhere in my camp all the time, so I wasn't like sleeping on it. Under the it's thing. in Nora's pillow. She would never <laughs> see it. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. So that was one. That was one preview. Then they showed Vince getting up and he <laughs> with with uh, Aaron and Tom, and they're saying, and Aaron's asking Vince, "Will you work with us?" And Vince is like, "You, it is professional. You stupid." So, <laughs> <laughs> not to work with them. 
Uh, so I guess something's going to happen there. But that made it look like Tom and Aaron were, were, were starting to have an alliance. Whereas last episode, it looked like Tom had, and Vince kind of had some mutual respect there or something. So I don't know. Or maybe, maybe they find out. Maybe they find out it's an all-girl alliance over there. Maybe, maybe, maybe Tom. Maybe Tom is friendly with both sides, so Tom's just trying to join him up or something. Maybe he's trying to be like that. I don't know. Mm-hmm. And then the third preview was someone bleeding, and I was looking at that, and I can't figure out who it is, and I'm in denial for who it might be. I, didn't they say I see my bone or something like yeah, that? Yeah, I, I can see oh. my bone. I, just, I hope it's not bone. I hate when they show a preview for an injury and it doesn't look like it's a game injury because then every time during the episode when they cut to somebody or Charlie um, using a machete or something, I just get nervous. Well, who wears it? was someone in a yellow shirt, right? Yes, it was a yellow shirt. Yellow shirt, dark hair. So and who wears a yellow shirt? Um, what I'm looking at, only Missy has the yellow shirt on. Mm. Missy, who's Missy? Which one's Missy? Missy. Uh, she's on Lyro. Oh no, because this was this was not a no. Missy's black, so it wouldn't be her. Um, Nora's got a yellow shirt in her tribe picture, and that, <laughs> someone it, cut Nora. <laughs> well, if she would stop trying to do chores at five o'clock in the morning. Yeah, maybe that's what it was. Maybe. Maybe that's what I it think was. it was Nora. Okay, I don't mean Nora if you're watching. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but I'm going to say this. If it ends up being Nora and she had to leave the game, this is I'm, okay that. I'm okay with that. Sorry. Well, I think Nora could be the person that, you know, I know it's too early to start thinking this, but if I'm going to take someone to final three with me, it's Nora. Oh, oh she's so annoying. Well, I don't think she can win, right? Is she, I mean, unless she just changes overnight. We've seen that where people, person out, they, they realize, okay, I'm playing a terrible game. I need to change my approach i need to be better with people but after her outburst in the fir- part, first part and then at tribal when she's just going on i this is just me yeah i sink or swim that's just that's just me i don't see her changing probably not and you're probably right they probably just like oh let's just leave her in the game but i think that's how sandra's won twice but right I think, I think, <laughs> yeah it's true i think they vote her out and then next week the preview shows them cheering for no yoga <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Why? <laughs> Anything else you ready to get in my little thing here? Hmm. I want to hear it. I'm excited. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's hear your yeah, thing. Yeah. Okay. I read this online. Now it's not a spoiler. It's not. It just was speculation because every time they they go to Idols of the Island, there's no. Uh, they read the whole thing. It just says they they they're not going to come in the game. They're not doing this. People think that they're going to be on the jury. Sandra and Boston Raw will be members of the jury. That's why they're at the tri- That's why they're at tribal Ooh, to know what's going to know what's going on. So then they get to they get a vote. Oh, that would not be so horrible. Let's see, jury. How many are usually on jury? Usually eleven, right? Nine or eleven? Nine or eleven, yeah. Okay. So I mean, they're just two votes. So they couldn't really skew it too horribly. Right. Um, they wouldn't be bitter. They'd be fair. Probably. Right. They uh, also w- they also wouldn't be on uh, Ponderosa. I wouldn't think where they're influencing. I, I wouldn't want them to be if the- if this is true. I wouldn't want them to be influencing the vote on Ponderosa. They should be oh. se- sequestered by themselves and just go. But that but that's what people think is because they're at. That- why would they be at tribal? That's an excellent point. That's, I a really never good thought point. Of that. that's a really good point. So that's what's going around yeah. and. I think it'd be super cool if they didn't even let people know until the jury comes out to ask questions. And then all of a sudden, and our two special jury get or whatever, and they walk out because many people will know by that point, what Island of the Idols was, I'm, or if not all of them, if it's and you're gonna have Kelly and Elizabeth go, wow, where did they come from? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that would be kind of cool. There will be a point in the game, I think where they are revealed fully. And now right. everyone is competing to get to the Island of Idols. To hang out with them? To hang out with them, just to see the big heads. But I, I think if that's what eventually what happens, you have to compete to go over there, do you choose to go over there? Because people know you could possibly get an idol. Do you, if you don't need the idol, why would you put a target on your back? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I don't well, know. I know. Unless everybody, unless the majority of people have already been there. Right. 
You know what I mean? If you're if you're looking at you're the last, you know, nine people and and five of the nine have gone and you haven't gone, you might go like, yeah, it's not going to be a target on my back now. Not everyone can be a target when everyone's a target. I guess that's true. Yeah, you know, maybe. I don't know. But you don't you never want to leave the game though. Well, especially when deck is down like 8 or 9. Do you want to leave the game? Cuz I've even said I would throw I would throw reward challenges. You miss too much. Yeah, because I I plus you have to pick people. They always put especially like the family visit. Yeah, I Yeah, I I love my wife. It's great, but I'll see you in like 10 days. I I I'm going to throw we're going to throw this challenge. I don't want to win cuz I don't want to pick cuz no matter who I pick three or four people are going to be mad that I didn't well, pick them. Everybody thinks that their relationship with their loved one, even if it's their cousin, whatever, is the most important relationship out there. Right, you know? exactly. So no. you, you, it's a no-win situation. I've always said throw the reward, fight like hell to win the immunity, the immunity but throw the reward challenge. Unless you're part of a team, then you, you, know, it's, you can't really be. But if you're an individual, when they get down to the individual things, no, throw them. Plus, it puts a plus if you keep winning. Say you keep winning the the reward challenges. People, oh, they're good at challenges. You you kind of want to fly under the radar there yeah. too. And somebody always gets so mad thinking that they're owed to be taken yeah. on the reward. I haven't eaten all it, all yeah. for thirty days. Why didn't you take me? Anyway, no. If you, if you have the numbers, fine. Pick pick your crew to go with you. But um, yeah, and I, I agree with you, Jack. That I would, I wouldn't want to put myself in that situation. Well, like no, I, no, we're, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Uh, but that, um, I said that um, everyone. There's always someone that feels super angry and like they're owed it, right? Right, they have right. A big deal about like I did this for you and you couldn't pick me, and and you're just like, gosh, get up, get over it. Every well, time. that's why they, they always say Survivor is the greatest social exper experiment. And it's true because, you know, it, it's like real life. It, how many times in real life you go, well, I got two tickets to the game. I got three friends. Uh, I can only take one. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it, it's a no-win situation. So you're better off without the tickets. Exactly. It's the Chargers anyway, so you don't want to go see the game. <laughs> but, uh, but that's all I got. Anything else you guys have? No, just that's it. All right, good show, guys. Again, if you stayed with us through the, the spoilers, um, get to see the super cool stuff at the end. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, share. You can share this video, thumbs up, and uh, also um, comment. Subscribe. You can leave comments. Yeah, comments. We'll read the comments on next week's show. And if you, you if there's something you don't like that we're doing, tell us. I, I, I'm not going to cry gonna be unless awesome. you don't unless you don't invite me to the reward challenge. Then I'm going to be I'm going to be ticked off. <laughs> Well, that's all we got. I'm out of here. All right. See you next week. Thanks, guys. Thanks.